Got a clash of clans right there. In my other video. What I wanted to talk about today is returning back to England. I recently went through my old videos, and in my old videos, I was talking to myself in Vietnam and shit. And honestly, Vietnam was great. It was super peaceful, and it was super not necessarily exhilarating. It wasn't necessarily exhilarating, but it was peaceful, it was relaxing, it was a getaway, but it wasn't what I should have had at that time. Even though I lost a tremendous amount of fat and weight when I went there, it was a consistent meal every single day. And I'm super grateful for going, of course. However, I do have to say, me going to Vietnam is like, I didn't deserve the holiday. I genuinely felt like I didn't deserve the holiday. And another thing I felt like was, the. I felt like so, I felt... Like I was bored out of my fucking mind there. At least with England, there's work to do, there's shit to do, right? And I hated the idea of work, going back to work, going to England, and, you know, having to work, having to go back to school, having to do work with the computer, and having to do this, having to do that. I disliked this heavily. However, at least there's something to do. In Vietnam, I wasn't on the good habits back then. I wasn't reading books like I, w I was reading. I think I was just beginning to start these good habits. I was just beginning to start on my habit tracker. I was in my first month or. Two, uh, or not even my first month, I think it was maybe my, not even my first week. I think I made it when I came back to, here, to, to England after. So I was, I wasn't even really on my self-improvement journey then. I, I worked out sure, but I hadn't done anything productive at that point. Because I hadn't just simply just hadn't reached that point yet. And for the most part, I was bored shitless out of my mind when I could have used that time to like read books, for example, or try to start my own business. I did start my own business though. That's when I first started my business. And I made some money as well because I did the, the pitching. I did the pitching before the sale to see, like, testing the water to see if anyone was willing to buy in the first place, which was successful. A lot of people wanted to buy. But then most of my retention was like fucking not even 10%. It was like extra much lower than that. Like 1, 2, 3% out of like hundreds of people that I contacted. Which like it's still like it's still good. You're still getting sales, but it wasn't it wasn't that good. And that percentage, I feel like, would only continue to go lower the more people I prospected. Honestly, I think maybe because I was lacking in self speechability back then. But you know, I think otherwise it's just people just didn't like buying. People like didn't get like getting sold to, right? So which is fair enough. Like, sure. But to me. The fucking the business owner. I'm like, yo, man, this is not this is not good for me. I'm dying over here. <laughs> um, I I was bored shitless in Vietnam, and on the weeks back, leading up to my coming back to, for to England, I wasn't necessarily bored shitless, but I was fucking terrified of coming back to England because I honestly I don't like this country too much. It's great. It's genuinely great. That's the best way I can describe this country. I remember I was with my friend about this the other day. And it was, it was telling me, like, in a quite passionate voice, Bro, this country's great. Look around. It's just great. It's just... There's, there's, no, there's no good weather. It's been raining. It's been grey. It's been cloudy for, like, the past week. There was one day that was extremely sunny. But then that day was cold. Unbelievable. It was cold. You might be able to think, like, Oh, at least uh, you got the weather. Bro. It's all relative, yeah? With Vietnam, I was around friends and family, and how do I say this? Even then, it wasn't that good because I wasn't in the place I wanted to be. If I was rich as fuck, I go Vietnam, I go on holiday, spend money, spend money, spend money, be generous, take a bunch of pictures, have good memories, good get good experiences. But I was broke. Well, I was broke, so I was like most of the time I was just at home chilling, which is not entirely good for me. I, I didn't go outside as much as I wanted to. I don't know, I'm split. I'm in two minds with this. I'm in really, really big two minds. Am I recording now? Oh, okay, yeah. I, I think what I really want to do now is try to earn as much money as I possibly can. After I do some things with Clash of Clans, I'll probably... Do I just leave it? I think I just might just leave it or uninstall it. Because... There's no point to me. That's my top, my top Alexa drill. At three, you know? What the? 
treasury what the forty million is the max I'm doing things like plans man oh what to do the computer I don't know how to end, uh, end this video or continue this video. It's just me saying, like, I just. I really want to be fiscally, fi fiscally, fiscally successful. I don't really care about anything else. I just want money. And I fuck ton of money at that. It's a weird. It's a weird when you know what you want to do and you know what you have to do. But you don't necessarily have the strength to do it. Like, I know I want to make money. money. I know I have to start that company, I know I have to do this task, I have to do that task, I have to do this freelancing thing, I have to do that uh, social media marketing thing, I have to do this thing, do that, that, that course, this course, this book, that book. But you just end up not doing it. Out of what? Fear? Fear of failure? failure? Failure is a natural part of success. I don't understand. Failure is the sweat of success, right? It's quite, It's weird. I keep saying to myself, if I had a bunch of money, if I had a bunch of money, why don't, why don't you just say, oh, yeah, I have a bunch of money, I'll do it. Fuck it. What is wrong with me? I just done a Clash of Clans again where I see the multi millions of gold and I feel rich. Bullshit. Because you're the next video, man. I'm gonna